Hey everyone, so I'm going to be um, showing you guys how to make or manipulate lens flare in a picture because most of the time it's really hard when the sun's not out or you can't really create the lens flare when you're taking the picture. So what I like to do is I actually like to create the lens flare in Photoshop. Um, so it's really easy to do this. There are lots of different ways to do this. So we're going to use this picture of um, Amelia right here. We did this photo shoot yesterday. So, now there are different ways to do the lens flare. I like to go ahead, get a big round brush, um, make sure the hardness is at zero and it's the hugest size ever. And make it really big. Go ahead and go down to screen, make a new layer by just pressing the little new layer button or con command shift N. And so you're gonna have to choose what color you want. So I want like a red color. I really like to pick bright colors because I feel like they're, it just looks better sometimes. Again, get a little crazy though, so don't like go too crazy. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm just gonna show you guys, just, even just swiping right there, just going straight across the picture, will already create something really nice here. But I wouldn't normally put something like this out what I would do is I would layer and layer. So I'm going to make a new layer here. And let's see. Like, I could do this for hours, actually. <laughs> so what I like to do is go ahead and then erase and then add on. Oh, God, there we go. So there are different ways. And also what I like to do is I'll usually do this before I add all the layer and colors in there. So it'll like mesh in with the colors better and it'll look like it belongs more so even now like okay I'm gonna go ahead and use a blue color I'm gonna switch it up press X if you want to change it there go back to screen if you want to add just like some touches of blue it really makes the picture really nice um, you can add it to the edges if you'd like like just add to the edges there you know what I mean? Give it that. Just give it like a pop of color. Um, and some other ways are like just lowering the opacity. So you can make it all on one side. You can make it across the picture. You can make it more than one color. Like if you want to just add it in like that. And then add a screen. If you'd like to do um, a screen, just put your layer on screen and then go over it to make it look more realistic. Man, I will, like again, I'll spend hours on this. Um, erasing some parts that you don't want from both layers. So it's all about, you know, what kind of colors you want, how you want it to look. I personally will only use this on specific pictures. Um, like, let me show you guys. Like, I love. I don't know. It just makes it look more colorful. Um, it really depends, like, how crazy you want to go. Gonna transform. You could do like a lot of cool stuff with this. Just put it on the bottom. Put it on the top. Like, you could put it up there. Actually, it looks really cool. <laughs> You put it on the top, put it on the bottom. Again, new layer. You put the whole layer to screen and you go with a big round brush and just color in whatever you like. So I hope I explained it pretty well. There are different techniques to doing this, but for this particular picture, I've already colored it. So, well, okay, let me bring up the colors layer right here. If I were to put the colors layer, you can tell that it's more, it fits in more, with, like it kind of meshes the color in a little more. But again, I've already added colors to this picture, so it kind of looks pretty cool, but it's a little overexposed. So that is one way to do the lens flare, my lens flare technique. Um, hope this helped for some people.